Hi everyone, how are you? Here I am back again. Um, I'm off to dinner tonight to my parents' house and about two hours ago, two and a half hours ago, I made a zucchini slice here on Facebook Live. So if you missed it, go back and have a little look at how I did it. But essentially it's a really easy zucchini slice recipe from the easiest slow cooker book ever, page 137, for those of you that have it. Now over there you can see under ingredients, I did type the ingredient list and the method in this post. So once I um, share it, you'll be able to see it. But it is more than four ingredients. But the essential ingredients to any slice, a zucchini slice, obviously zucchinis, are eggs, um, flour and cheese. You then add to it whatever other ingredients you have. So for those of you that saw me do this earlier, I sort of sauteed off some bacon, some shallots, and added some curry powder. And basically I just mixed all of those ingredients together, there's about six, and poured it into a paper lined slow cooker. Now I have cooked this beautiful slice in the slow cooker for the last two hours. Um, depending upon how the age of your slow cooker and how rapidly it cooks, it may take anywhere this slice from between one to two hours. You just need to, you'll easily be able to check because you'll insert a knife and I'll do it in a second, it'll remove clean. The other thing that I did and the little tip that I shared with everyone is the tea towel tip. For those of you that have my slow cooker book, what you'll find in writing this book, there was lots of trials and tribulations. So I created a tips page for when you are slow cooking. That really helped me. And I just simply called it Sensational Slow Cooker Tips. Now, for those of you that didn't see my earlier post, the tea towel tip, listen to this. Um, the rationale is that by placing a tea towel between the lid and the slow cooker, um, it prevents the condensation that forms on the inside of the lid from dripping back down onto the food. Now, if you are cooking a big shoulder or a hock or something like that, you're going to need the condensation. It's going to need moisture. But if you're cooking a slice or a cake or a pie, for example, it won't need the condensation. So the tea towel between the top of the slow cooker and the lid is imperative. So for those of you that had this and had a couple of faux pas with your slow cooker, chances are there's a tip on these two pages that's really going to help you. And the reason I bring your attention to it is because if you, at this time of year, right, when the days are short and the nights are long, if you can embrace slow cooking, it's the cheapest antidepressant, I swear to God, on the market. You come in at the end of a busy day, hello everybody joining us, and the aroma in the house with the knowledge that dinner is done and you just feel good. So um, I want to just actually, so two hours later, oopsies, there's all the condensation on the lid. So you can see that dropping off, right? You don't want that on the top of your beautiful, nice pie. Okay, so your tea towel, you can see quite, you know, there's a, a big liquid mark in the middle of it as well, so absorbs quite a lot of moisture. Um, like I said, I lined my pie with, I'm going to push this closer to you, I lined my slow cooker, turn that off, uh, with baking paper. Now, if you don't have baking paper, a little light spray of oil because both of those are going to make sure, look how clean the inside of my slow cooker is after uh, having cooked my zucchini pie. So cleaning up is really easy when you line it with paper or a little bit of oil before cooking. So here is my zucchini pie done in the slow cooker. And I want to just cut it for you as well so that you can all actually get to see what it looks like um, firsthand, straight out of... So even though it's done in the slow cooker, you know, the um, the exterior is still really nice and uh, quite crusty, yummy, and the top's still nice and golden. So, you know, don't be afraid to cook things you may not think suitable in your slow cooker. Uh, even the lasagna, the book, there's a three cheese lasagna, which is absolutely brilliant and it's so yummy and it doesn't require a white sauce or a bechamel sauce. So there you, there you are, lovely people. Um, I just wanted to, because it is a really unusual thing to cook in your slow cooker, I just wanted to uh, come back live and share with you what your zucchini slice looks like 
made in the slow cooker. Now, it's a fantastic veggie smuggler. You know, follow the recipe here or use the variation I use today by adding bacon because I've got three boys and their whole belief in life is that life's just better with bacon in it. I added some curry powder too because curry powder adds flavour. Um, you know, I've had comments from the, the, my previous post, uh, people adding in creamed corn, which I loved. I just went, oh my gosh, that's going to add such nice flavour too. But remember too, the base of this was nine eggs, which seems like a lot. But, you know, what's nine eggs at the supermarket? Maybe $4.50? You know, so when you look at what potentially a big piece of lamb or pork or beef might cost, $4.50 as the base of this makes a really easy, economical and delicious dinner. Let me show you. There is the world's easiest zucchini and bacon slice. For those of you that are vegetarian, take out the bacon, just add some peas and some creamed corn. Honestly, you'll love it. Dinner tonight, lunch boxes tomorrow. <gasps> Cook once, eat twice. I know, stop it, so good. But thanks, beautiful people. I'll take a photo of this, um, post it onto this, this feed as well. So you've got the recipe, the ingredients, uh, the method, and also a beautiful image. So, you know, go forth and create with your slow cooker. You will love it. And on that note, too, for all of you, um, you know, over 200 of you at the moment, make sure you head to our website, boringgredients.com.au, where uh, for the next eight days, 10 days, we are giving away four brand new slow cookers with four IGA gift cards and four signed copies of the easiest slow cooker book ever. So that's a competition that we only started a couple of days ago. Going for the next, we'll draw it uh, the next weekend and it's a cracker. So we will post it, look out for it on our Instagram page, on this page, or head over to fouringredients.com.au. You gotta be in it to win it. <laughs> See you everyone. Bye. And bon appetit. Oh, oh my gosh, it smells so good too. Toodles.